Hey everybody, it's Stacey Duffy here, your Denver Metro Real Estate Resource, and I rearranged my home office a little bit, so I have some better lighting, but I'm using my webcam, so the quality isn't as great, but anyway, you're not going to be watching me talking most of the time anyway uh, for this video. So what I wanted to answer today is, how do I buy a house during quarantine? <laughs> um, our stay-at-home orders today, I'm, I'm making the video on April 20th. Uh, our stay-at-home orders are currently still in place until the 26th. I think a lot of people are expecting those to be extended again because they've already been extended once. So, or at least some level of, you know, limitation of um, public activity so being extended. So, as far as how to buy a home right now. So, in the last, I guess it's about a week and a half, on April 9th, there was some clarification for real estate essential services and what is and is not considered essential by the Attorney General. So, what they did is said, okay, buyer showings are not an essential activity. They're not transactional. Um, so, for us, that's really been the challenge in real estate of, okay, I've got buyers that need a place to live so they can shelter in place. <laughs> they need a place to do that. Um, but how do we find them a place to live? So, um, virtual tours are a big thing. I've been doing them for years on my listings. Uh, a lot of your um, agents that have a little bit more extensive marketing packages have been doing those for a while. So for us, it's not anything new. We've already have we already have those on all of our listings. Um, we've been doing them for a while. Uh, explaining people how they work is part of our normal process. It's just not as many buyers have been taking advantage of them. A lot of buyers will just go look in person as opposed to looking at the 3D virtual tour. Um, so what I'm going to do for y'all is I'm going to walk you through one of those on my listings right now. It's currently under contract. Um, however, it's just an easy example. It's top of mind for me. So I will use that as an example to show how they work, uh, talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons, and just make people, like, just make you generally aware of how good of a job that they can do to give you a feel for the layout of the property at least better than like a FaceTime video or um, just looking at the pictures and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and swap over to screen view and narrate as we walk through that. Alrighty, so I am going to pull up the property website for one of my listings. And different agents do these different ways um, on it depends on what website you're looking at the listings from. So if you're looking from your local MLS or the agent's portal that is sending you property information, a lot of times there's a virtual tour field with a link. Uh, some uh, different websites, you know, Zillow, Redfin, Realtor, Trulia, most of the, the larger ones have it. Some of the other smaller ones don't have the virtual tour field syndicating from the MLS since that's where they get all their property information from usually. Um, I think Zillow has their own like walkthrough video tours but you have to shoot it from your phone and it doesn't take this file format so um, that's a little bit different but anyway I put them in my public remarks as well but find most properties if they have one of these it's going to be on the virtual tour link if there's a virtual tour link on whatever website you're looking at um, or in the public remarks they'll have a website that says hey check out the 3D tour at whatever website so um, sometimes we'll do a bit.ly link. Um, I've started purchasing the domains for my higher end properties, but uh, that will usually link to a detailed property website that the agent sets up that has a lot of other information. Uh, sometimes it will just go to the unbranded or branded, you know, iGuide.com slash whatever text string it is or Matterport.com or whatever 3D tour company they're using. There's a few different brands. But here in Colorado, Matterport and um, iGuide are the big ones. Um, and sorry, this is my first time doing the whole screen capture with video in the corner thing, and so I have to remember that I'm actually on camera and that y'all can see me because I'm not looking at myself like I usually am on my phone. So anyway, this is just an example. Like I said, this is one of my under contract listings at the moment. Um, it scrolls through the pictures at the top. This is the whole detailed property website. I'm not going to go through all this. I think there's a lot of cool stuff here. I always put as much information as I can about the property and local amenities, and I even shot a little YouTube video with a driving tour for the shopping area but I'm a video nut. So most agents probably aren't going to have that. But um, what you're looking for is this 3D floor plan or Matterport or iGuide, something where you can click and drag. So we're going to spend our time on this. 
And like I mentioned, there's a couple different brands. There's Matterport and iGuide are the really popular ones. I started out with Matterport for a while because that was much more um, widely available. Um, iGuide's pretty limited, but I really, I really like it and I love the features on it because you have the floor plans right next to it. So I always do floor plans on my listings as well. Um, always have for a long time since I ever started listing property. But because there's type A, you know, very analytical, schematic type people like having the floor plans. Um, you know, very visual people, people that want to, you know, see it and feel it. They really like this portion of it. Between the two together, I think it's the next, the next best thing to physically being in a property in person that I've ever seen as far as marketing options. So, um, I think it's far superior to a mobile Zoom call or a FaceTime video or anything like that. Um, one of the features of the eye guide that I really want to talk about is the on-screen measurement. So a lot of people are looking at that and like. Well, you know, how big is that room really? And you can actually measure it on screen if you want to. Um, I'm not going to take the time to do that, but um, I really like to measure it from the floor plan. I'm like, okay, so yeah, I see the 16 by 14, whatever, but you know, how long is this entire wall? And I can stretch it all the way across and get measurements on it. Now, would I calculate how much flooring to order because of that? Yeah, you know, if you're going to add enough buffer, maybe. Um, if you're going to do some improvements, but if you're trying to, you know, budget what a reno would be on a property of, okay, well, how much square footage do I need to order? Um, and you don't want to do the entire square footage based on the listing information. You just want to measure a couple of rooms. Or if you're trying to see if your couch will fit on, you know, between across these two windows and not everything else. And okay, that gives you a really good idea. So I really like a lot of the measurement tools. I think those are really cool. And I don't know how well that's going to show up on screen. It might be really small, but, um, Anyway, one of the big pros of the eye guide for me. But um, anyway, so actually, but this is what I wanted to show y'all of if you're in a property or you can't physically be in a property, but this is the next best thing. And so I do these on my listings, as I've mentioned. I'm very, very passionate about it. I get really frustrated when I try to show property and they don't have something like this, especially if it's a higher end property, because it's not terribly expensive to add um, to the marketing package, depending on what, you know, what you're compensating your realtor at from a, a seller's side. So um, anyway, I'm not going to go into the whole you get what you pay for, but this is just an example of the eye guide. So as you can see, you can click and drag and look around the entire room. Um, if you want, you can use your scroll wheel and zoom in and to be like, oh, okay, so that's, you know, those are the cars on the street. Um, and you can, you know, scroll in, scroll out. You can look up. You can look all the way around. It's really, really cool as far as the, uh, the impression it gives you compared to physically being in the property. Um, and sorry, my, my kiddos eating lunch. We're all at home today. So, <laughs> um, You'll probably hear him having an opinion about what he's eating. So uh, I have a little one-year-old. But anyway, in the kitchen. So you can see that, oh, okay, well, the fridge has this. And you can get a much better feel and look at those details that you may feel are distorted in the photos. Because a lot of people don't trust photos because they're wide angle. Um, and they feel like, oh, well, I don't, I don't really know. I can't. I can't tell based on the angle or, you know, are they squishing themselves in the corner of the room or are you actually in the middle? Um, so I really like these because they, like I said, they give the next closest thing to physically being in the home. And since we're not allowed to be in the home until we're under contract. So I'll talk about that in a little bit as far as the different process options to actually purchase right now. Um, I think these are awesome. I really, really love them. I think they give buyers a huge understanding of how the property is. I will say one of the downsides at the moment is most photographers that are uh, um, making this available to agents and agents purchasing it don't have exterior um, options. So I think that's something that if we request it or they start adding it as a, an additional purchase option um, would definitely work as well. Uh, so you can't exactly get a feel for the yard, which for this property is a huge selling piece, but we didn't expect people to not be able to go see it when we listed it. So, um, but luckily we got under contract just before that stay at home order went in. So you can even click on these little white circles and go in these other rooms, like into the powder room. So, and yes, you can't see every single thing because that's just the tripod that the camera is uh, mounted on, but I don't know. I'm a huge fan of them. I'm going to take you around a little bit more, a couple more rooms. Let's switch floors. Let's go upstairs. Uh, oh, that's downstairs. Sorry. That's the basement. Um, 
and just based on where these stairs are located, this one's upstairs and the other one's downstairs. But, um, so you can see, oh man, look at all this natural light. Look at these windows. Okay, you know, there are the fixtures. That's kind of how this upper stairwell is laid out. And then, okay, I've got a hall room, uh, hallway back here. What's back there? Oh, that's where those other bedrooms are. Okay, so there's a bedroom there. There's a bedroom there. What's in this room? Um, let me go in that little circle because that's around the corner. Oh, that's the bathroom. That's the Jack and Jill bath between the two bedrooms. Okay, cool. So you can get a really good feel for the finishes and the layout of the property, I think, is the big thing because that's what's really hard to tell with photos. And a lot of people are not um, schematic thinkers when it comes to floor plans. A lot of your engineers, your lawyers, your science backgrounds, your analytical uh, type A people uh, will really like the floor plan. And if you even look, and I haven't even talked about this, but you can look on the floor plan and kind of drag your field of vision, which I think is awesome. So as you're, you know, even as you're over here and you're like, okay, I want to go look in the bathroom and you can see physically where you're standing and what you're looking at on the floor plan. So it really helps you kind of connect those dots of the layout of the property and what you're looking at and what you're seeing. I I really think that's invaluable, guys. It's huge, especially if you can't physically go see a property in person before writing an offer on it. So um, anyway, that's part of the process, or that's really just kind of a, an overview of the eye guide and how that works. I'd love to get y'all's feedback on whether or not, and while I keep talking, I'm going to go down here to the basement. Um, I'd love to get y'all's feedback on whether or not you think one that's helpful as a buyer that's trying to be property, uh, especially, you know, during stay at home orders, if that gives you a much better feeling of the property than just the photos do this in combination with the photos, obviously. Um, let's see, can I go back there? I don't think I can. Um, so I just really want to get a feel for what y'all think as far as if that's helpful. Um, do you feel that I would assume most people would feel that this isn't quite as good as being there in person because you can't do everything, but it's probably the next best thing. Okay, so regarding using that 3D tour and how that relates to actually purchasing a home right now, just to touch on this piece a little bit, um, is essentially that's our best option to show you the home right now. Um, some agents are doing, like I mentioned, kind of the FaceTime, you know, phone walkthrough or video virtual tour. The seller will do that um, so they don't have to leave the home. However, personally, I don't think those give the same impression in visual communication of information that the iGuide or the Matterport or the 3D virtual tours do. So I'd love to get y'all's feedback on that. Um, but essentially, you virtually tour the property and then make your offer. Uh, as hard as that is to believe right now, uh, but you make your offer and then most agents are writing in some sort of provision that allows the buyer and the buyer's agent to go physically see the property once you're under contract within so many, uh, so many days, usually a couple of days before dropping off your earnest money and ordering your inspection and doing all those other typical transactional activities. So essentially we just have to move the physical, physical in showing portion of the process to after the contract is written for it to be transactional. So, and I mean, for a lot of different reasons, that's a good thing. Uh, obviously not taking people to property if it's not absolutely essential, if they're not you know, serious about buying the property, what it does is it says, hey, I'm serious. I really like the house. I wanna buy this house. And then let me go look at it and make sure it's what I, I really believe it to be. So, like I said, definitely a little bit different. Um, for the agents, it's a lot more work up front because we're writing a lot more offers for something that may or may not, you know, be as solid going through. And there's a lot of buyers that aren't comfortable with writing an offer before they see it in person. And I totally get that too, especially if you're spending, you know, half a million bucks to buy a house, you want to see it. Um, so I completely understand. I'm just trying to accommodate, uh, accommodate whatever makes my clients most comfortable to continue and accomplish their goals in this time period, if that's what they want to do. Anyway, so if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down below. You can reach out to me directly. My contact information is on my website, and the link for that is down below as well. Um, I'd love to get your feedback on this because this is something we haven't had to do a lot of before. Like I said, I've been doing them on my listings um, for quite a long time now, for uh, a few years, and I find them really valuable. I want to know if potential buyers and consumers find them really valuable. So, um, 
If you are looking to buy or sell in the Denver Metro and you need help doing that, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you with that. This is my day job. I love my day job. Uh, I love helping people get to their next chapter in life, whatever that may be. So anyway, um, yeah, thanks so much for the time, guys, and y'all have a great day.